Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I think time you get this is right after church. We just got through watching church on live stream on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, um, it's called Grace Life of Prior. Um, you can see you can see our pastor Derek up there preaching. Um, he'll, we're going to be there until further notice until we're able to congregate back together. But that's the best we can do for now and it's really good. So I've decided to pick the camera up after church come out here feed the chickens some scratch and I'm gonna have the whole family out here working on the garden today we got we actually got delivery and I was trying not to um, order anything online but uh, my buddy Mark told me hey Lowe's will deliver a material for a small fee um, so we ordered a bunch of material that we can <clears throat> finish our garden up with and I actually got some stuff uh, to start working on on the actual carport too and I, I did one last night and uh, I, might, I might show you a little bit of that or I might just show you what I get done um, so that's a slow progress over there weather has held us up um, weather's starting to turn nicer but then it's supposed to start raining again this week sometime um, so that's kind of just here and there as we go um, but I got Brandy and the girls coming out and uh, we're going to work on the garden today and uh, we'll show you what we got going on hope you guys have a had a great weekend uh, for the most part probably staying home uh, as much as you could and I know we have um, been quarantined this is day four of 21 on Oklahoma mandatory stay at home uh, situation other than essential things what's up Hayden what's up? so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog it's just gonna be us out working outside uh, for the most part so hope you enjoy it okay so we got a bunch of mulch in and some weed barrier and just a lot of stuff for the raised bed itself um, order some more uh, food for them we got some bone milk for the plants and also got some blood there. Oh, that's back for the tomatoes and other things. Yeah, bone meal and blood meal. And a lot of other things. Really and some wood and some screws. Huh? I really want to bring Freddy out here. Haha, <laughs> Freddy probably needs some sun too, don't he? Hey, Hopi. Hi. Is mom getting ready to come out and help us? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the weed eater and uh, I'm gonna weed eat as much of this grass as I can. And then we're gonna lay some uh, barrier down and uh, start getting this little walkways cleaned up and we're just gonna work out here today you can see I got two new raised beds these are gonna be the last raised beds I do of the year um, so we doubled our our garden size and raised beds uh, I built those last night so we'll Hayden will probably you'll probably fill them up later with hay right yeah you like doing that This little steel uh, weed eater works pretty good. I wish I had a straight shaft though, but not too bad. Okay, we got some leftover uh, rock from the house. I'm not having the girls load up into the trailer with the go-kart and they're gonna pull over here and that's what we're gonna use to keep the weed barrier down. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is gonna lay all the weed barrier down and then we're gonna come back and put the mulch on there. It should look really nice and it'll keep all the grass from growing or most, most of the grass. Good job, girls. Oh, look, we got Brandy to grace us with her presence. You ready to work, Brandy? I'm supervising. You better oh. work. <laughs> what are we doing with these? I'm going to use Thank you. 
Did you go take a pail down to the lake? Okay, we got all the mulch laid. We could probably use, Brandy said like 10 more bags, huh Brandy? No, I said a couple. <laughs> we could probably use a few more bags here and then I want to clean out these ones and put some new uh, mulch on top of that. So probably 10, 15 more bags. That was, this was 20 bags right here. So probably, yeah, a few more would be good. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Hey, Lily, hey, Bobby. Yes, yeah, coming along pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go eat some lunch. The girls are gonna come back out here, fill us up with old hay, and I'll come back and top it off with the peat moss and the other mixture. And the hey, Brandy, come here, look at the onions. I don't think Brandy's been out here to look at the onions yet. They're starting to sprout up. These are the buckets Leon and Daniel uh, promote quite a bit. So I'm hoping to get some good onions out of them this year. What are you doing? Looking at onions. <laughs> They're starting to sprout up now. Me and Hayden plant all those. You've probably seen them. What's Gabby doing? You got some trash? Onions. You're a good trasher picker, Upper. Yeah, hopefully we get a lot of onions. We got about 50 onions planted here. Like I said in the other video, we got about 100 planted in other beds. There ain't nothing in there, Brandy. Yeah. I'm going to put a squash plant in there. Tell me what you think about this, Brandy. I'm thinking once we get some more mulch, I can move one. Of, I can move these buckets, one in front of each one of those. What do you think? Instead of just having them over here by themselves. Do you have an opinion on that? I think they're fine where they're at. Really? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it. Maybe line them up or something right here. All right, all right. There's the oh, Brussels sprouts and my squash. That one ain't doing too good. I'm going to have to replant that one. Tomatoes and everything else are doing good though so far. All right. We're going to go in and cook some lunch and we'll come back out here and do a little bit more work for you guys. Actually for us, but we'll show you guys what we're doing. Want a bacon sandwich? Hayden? No. Bacon sandwich? Girls ready to go eat? Yeah, I want bacon sandwich. All right. There's the cucumber plant. It's still alive. It's growing, but very, very slow. It is dark in here. Hey, you ready to eat? Hayden's mm -hmm. got some Roma noodles. Yep. Both got some treats. We're gonna make some bacon sandwiches. So this bacon is from a red wattle pig we raised. It's been about a year. It's frozen in the freezer and it tastes awesome. I'm Red water is my favorite. I'm gonna get a bacon sandwich. You want a bacon sandwich? All right, let's see. Five, six, seven, nine, eight, nine. How they one, Dad? Hold on. Five, six. How many? Go count the chickens. I thought we only had six big chickens. Maybe we have seven. Two, three, no, you're right, Hopi. Five, Hobie. six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, get them out. We have seven Careful. big chickens. Oh, okay. Are you counting the rooster? No. Because roosters don't lay eggs. Anymore. I know. I'm not. No. They go in there and feed that or water that chicken. What chicken? Inside there in the cage. Is there any the eggs in there? No. Well, I don't know. We'll check. There might be a couple. A pop. Uh, they gonna the bite me? Hey, it's in a cage. No hope, there is none. No. Go all the way up. Just take out some food, man. Good job. Well, you want out? Oh, look at her, look at her being nosy. You get to give me five dollars. Right, you get to give me five dollars. Ah, you won. 
after then. And I don't get to give you any money. That was lunch. It was so amazing. You like lunch, Hope? Yeah. You sit on the table. I, I love the yolk tea sandwich. sandwich. What did you do? Did you give Abe some food? Lovely. Huh? You give Abe some food? Yeah. You had a what? Hey, they about, they about picked all them food. Hey, they ate everything but those pancakes. Yeah, I said to make more on Monday. There's only four. Oh, more? Okay, we'll walk over here and I'll show you. Uh, I'll probably work on this here in a little bit. Once I got the kids out here and Brandy, uh, we're going to finish up those two raised beds, get some planting done, uh, and then maybe I'll come over here and work on this by myself. Let's see here. I just got one two by six up, trying to try to get it leveled, which I did get it leveled, get it leveled with uh, the barn too. So I'm gonna go all the way across, if you can see that one. Slow progress, but it'll get there, no rush. I think people, I think the people of YouTube, uh, they're in a bigger hurry than I am when it comes to stuff. I don't know if you guys figured this out yet, yet or not, but I kind of do things at my own pace. You know, that's what's going on here, but it'll get done, it'll get done. Let's walk over here and look at the raised beds. It's a nice day. I think it's like 70 degrees, very light breeze here in Oklahoma. And then they're calling for rain for most of the week. So, yeah. So we're going to try to get as much done on this garden right here as we can today. And then we'll get Brandy out here and talk to her a little bit about what's going on. I'm pretty good, huh, Hopi? Yeah. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. You're doing a good job. Look at him, deep ball. Now, I, have, I bought... A seven, this, I bought this about a month ago, three weeks ago, a month ago. Um, it's like a little $70 electric tiller. So I'm going to try it out. I just put together, took like five minutes put together, and uh, I'll let you guys see me using it for the first time. And that, there's a lot of wood chips in here. I'm, not, I'm just going to see if it'll till all this grass, wood chips, and everything up, just to see how well it works. Hey, for what that is, little bitty seventy dollar chiller, the cheapest till I could find on Amazon. Uh, that thing ain't working too bad. Um, this this is exactly what I wanted to use it for. Was my raised beds, and that's it. And uh, and this is this is some rough raised beds, like I said, with all the weeds in them and all the mulch and all that. Um, so if your raised beds were pretty much just uh, probably dirt, and you can well you can see what it did. It did a pretty good job just on that. Um, I, works pretty good we're gonna continue to use it um i'll till this whole bed up. i'll probably let brandy come over maybe hayden uh try using it and see how easy it is for them it's really light and uh easy to use so it's pretty cool kind of excited about that really lily oh it's disgusting all right we're gonna have brandy try this tiller out and then hayden can try it Like I said, we just, I just got this and put it together in like five minutes. I tilt that up, Brandy. I want to see how easy you can do it. I've never that. tilled. Well, it's pretty easy. You just sit there and like, just let it work. Let's see. You push that button. Goes. Hold the button down. You push that in. And then let go up. Just look at the trick. Just the trick. Safety. Seal all that up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you just move it around? Work one spot for a minute. It works pretty good, don't it? It's only 70 bucks. I like how quiet. Keep going. You need to do the whole thing. It's working right through them weeds, it makes too. Your arm tired. Really? Kinda.
I'm gonna make a gardener out here yet. Hey, do you want to try it in a minute? Yeah. This, how you do it? You just hold that button? It gets all the weeds hold wrapped that. around it, but it still digs into push it. You just gotta button. pull them out every now and then. What do I do? Push that and then push the trigger. But what do I, do no. I let go of that to yeah. stop? No, push that and then push the trigger. Here. Push no. trigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold it down. You can let go of the one button, hey, but you can hold down the other one. Uh, really? She's at least 65 pounds. Go how it did, Randy. Look, right this hand, do that thumb and then that way. Oh. So hold this. Thumb. Hi. Stay inside the bed. Uh, Is it too powerful for you? She's a 10. She's getting ready to be 11. Oh, no, no. Here, let go. <laughs> Two and a half amp. Finish the bed up, Randy. We're doing those things. Well, you know, you guys are doing a good job. I gotta get as much work out of them as I can while they're all out here. <laughs> Gosh. It's definitely better than other modes. Yeah, for sure. Modes. It's little. 70 bucks, Amazon. I think it's worth it. Well, I had the outro recorded with the girls and Brandy talking about some uh, stuff about this whole situation and um, how it's brought us closer together as a family. Uh, Brandy brought up some points, uh, but I lost the footage on there. Wouldn't it? Something's wrong with my computer when I download. So now I'm going to redo the outro. Uh, hey, if you're interested in that little tiller, I'll put a link down below uh, to my Amazon account. You can go right to it. Um, it works pretty good for the one raised bed we did. You've seen it. Um, but anyways... Um, we were, I talked to Brandy and the girls, and uh, we talked. I wish I had the footage still. They went on a bike ride. Uh, but anyways, uh, I asked them what they thought about what's going on, how, how it's affected. What what do they do? They think um, do they see the more? It's more important now than ever to try to raise your own food. And and uh, Brandy agrees. She said absolutely. Um, that's why we double the size of our garden this year. Um, we feel it's important uh, to grow as much food as possible, not in garden, but in meat and, and chicken eggs and stuff like that. And we also talked about how um, even if you live in an apartment, um, you can grow some of your own food. Uh, get some buckets. You can raise potatoes in buckets. You can raise tomatoes, all kinds of different uh, plants you can raise in five-gallon buckets. Uh, set on your back porch if you have one or on your balcony in the front if you're upstairs why not just work and get some sunlight and uh, you just keep it watered and you can look up a bunch of videos on uh, raising uh, uh, food in buckets you can do it too um, just think outside of the box do some research and figure out what works for you um, raised beds work really well for us that's why we um, expanded it and uh, well we'll get Brandy's opinion next time on video <laughs> it sucks that we lost I lost the footage but that's what that happens sometimes whenever you're making videos but I wish she was here, but I got to get this video out for you guys. Hey, thanks a lot for watching us uh, come along today. Just all we did is work in the, in the garden today, getting it looking nice, getting the weeds down, and just working on things overall as a family. Um, it, this, uh, this little epidemic has brought us all closer uh, together as a family. Like I said before, we're uh, cooking more meals at home, every meal, and uh, we're not going out to eat. And what I've noticed big time is we're all sitting down at the table uh, more often because we're, just, we're a busy family just like a lot of you guys are. Uh, usually five to six days a week we're out as soon as we get off work we're doing stuff with the girls jiu-jitsu or dance things like that you guys know how it is and uh, so this actually slowed slowed things down makes us all appreciate the little stuff in life the little things that um uh, things that don't matter don't matter so what matters is family and christ uh so those those are the two most important things in my life and i think you guys know that and it shows in uh, in the videos i hope so yeah that being said Thanks for coming along today. Hope you guys liked today's vlog. If you did, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.